Well, hi there. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've uploaded. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about the format of what kind of videos I want to make if I was to continue this, this channel. I've got a lot of subscribers. A lot of you um, have been with us from the beginning. Uh, gone through ups and downs with our family. We um, seem to go through different stages in our life when we're more focused on uh, homesteading or more focused on house building or more focused on just living life and uh, you know trying to grind out a living and take care of each other as a family you know that you know the really important stuff and uh, I think <clears throat> I, I, there are lots of other things that of course uh, make up our lives and um, same as everybody but I think the way that I want to go forward is to uh, help me and my family show the world what we're doing on a daily basis without having any kind of like agenda. We're not going to be a strictly homesteading channel because we're not a strictly homesteading family. In fact, we that's just a very small aspect of, of what we do. We live on a big property, so it's a farm, it's a homestead. We're very much involved in the day-to-day -day things. You know, we literally made our own house with our own hands. We do so much of, we can do all of work on our property ourselves. But um, it's not all about animals and gardening. Um, so with that in mind, I'm going to start off showing you what our son Alex um, does with a lot of his time. And he's, he's right here. <laughs> I'm in his bedroom. Uh, he and Everett share a room. And Banjo and Emmy are down here playing chess together on the floor. Guys, wave. <laughs> so we're just hanging out. And um, so Alex, a quick introduction. Um, Alex, how old are you? 16. 16. And how long have you been making music? Four or three. Three or four years. Three or four years making music. Since like 2019. Okay. So one thing that's fascinating to me is that Alex, before 2019, didn't really know anything about music other than that he liked listening to music, right? I mean, is that accurate? I didn't know anything. <laughs> didn't know how to play piano, didn't know what a note was. Um, I mean, basically, right? I mean, he yeah. really didn't know much. And so he's taught himself all of this stuff um, on his own. And just wait. I mean, it's, it's awesome what he can do. He <laughs> he doesn't um, yet associate with with other what I would call professional musicians. I would categorize Alex definitely in that in that category. Um, he's definitely uh, the quality of a of a professional music writer, and yeah, he taught it all himself. Um, learned it all himself. He's he's done all this stuff on his own, and he uses this digital keyboard and a, and a digital. What do you call it? A, a an video, interface, a digital audio workstation. Yeah, to write all his music, and I thought it'd be interesting if he would show you guys who are watching um, his process because I find it fascinating. For him, it's just this is what he does every day, so it's not a big deal. But I've been trying to convince him of how incredibly interesting it is to those who, of us who don't know how to do it, me included. So, um, with that in mind, let's, uh, let's watch him make music from scratch, if that's all right, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, when you're starting to write a song, like, well, right now, as we've been talking, do you have anything in mind? Like, did some, has something come to you, or are you just going to sit down and start, like, messing with stuff and, and see what... I just start mess, messing with stuff sometimes. Sometimes I have a melody in mind, um, and I write down, or a drum so, pattern. Okay, so sometimes you'll like hear something in your mind or come up with an idea, and then you're like, "Oh, I totally yeah. want to get that down." Mm -hmm. And other times you'll most just... of the time I just like, you know what? I think using this certain random sound would be really cool, and then I just get on and look up on a free website that kind of sound, download it. Oh, I can edit <coughs> the timing of the sound or just how I want it to sound. Okay, that's cool. 
Yeah. So you'll sound. imagine, or you're like, well, Alex will frequently go around the house and he's like, oh, cool. You like tap on stuff and like, oh, that's an awesome sound. And so he can, he actually does have the capability of recording that actual sound in our house, and um, and changing it on his program. Or like he said, he can go to a a place where he can download um, uh, that sound where somebody else has already done the work and they have a professional microphone and they've already kind of just, got it down right. Just today, I tried to connect a microphone to my program right here. Yeah. And it is very bad quality sound, but I did it. I know how to do it. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really awesome. <laughs> and that explains why you were asking me today about how much one of the nice microphones costs. Yeah. It's not that much, actually. Not, uh, not nearly as much as I thought it would be. I can show you how bad it is. <laughs> Let's see. La, la, la. It Whoa. has, like, tons of feedback and <laughs> doesn't... I have to wear headphones while doing it, but it's still is super delayed. That was pretty bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> what did so, we even get that mic for? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe just web talking or something. Anyway. Yeah. All right. So without further ado, we're going to watch the magic happen. Alex is going to write a song for us from scratch. <laughs> All right. Okay. So what are you going to start with? I always, so I just create a new track and I can select this instrument that there's a stock plugin um, that I can just edit sounds with. I can just click browse and look for a sound. Usually I start with a kick. I always use the same kick that sounds like this. Um, and then I can edit how it sounds like how much it fades in, or how much it dies off. Oh yeah, so I can hear the like this, the different bass. This one up could there. be used for like a, I don't know, EDM song, and this could be like more pop style. And that that was really thick. bassy. And then that one has like a click in the high ends of it. I always use the same kick sound um, for all my songs and just change how it sounds. Um, so I just need to change how it, where it's mapped to. So now it's it won't play for any of. Oh, those. so now you, so you basically connected it to that. Now it only plays here. It doesn't play anything else. So you're basically creating your own like orchestra almost or create my own drum set drum set and okay mapping where all the keys so how did you do that you just connected it to uh, is that the note I, I looked up a video to find out how to do it and just 36 is this note. is that note 36 oh, okay sixth note oh. and just go up from there and semitones oh. so then i just um yeah I think it's actually copy paste it a bunch of times oh so then you're gonna like yeah now i have those. it oh yeah it's still mapped to 36 so then i can just i always just change it now 37 38 39 and then 40. so now like so all now, four or five of those are the same yeah just five okay. So there's my kick. Now I'm gonna get like a snare or like a whoosh sound. That's okay. <laughs> what I always do for the next one. I think I heard a whoosh. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I I'll just no. So have you actually actually like recorded like whoosh sounds from around the house or whatever? No. I can hear something. Usually they're not very good. Yeah, this one. So what is this one is made a, from? It's a. I didn't make it from anything. It's just a riser. But I'll just so, so, it. so someone else recorded this, mm -hmm. just probably from a drum set yeah, or something. No, I think it's all digital. Oh, okay. Um, I click this. It says obey off notes. So then, when you take if 
finger off of the key, it'll stop. Oh, so you have full control. Yep. And I can change the tune. Wait, you started on a Y and oh. it went on the mm -hmm. Or high. I think I want to change the fade in, the attack. There we go. And I'm gonna get. This is so cool to me. It's snare. just. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of this, so it's so cool to see it happen right before my eyes. Pitch that up. Is my guy safe now? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna change the riser just a little bit to make it. Oh well, yeah, and I always, if I want to do double kicking, like. Boom, 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 boom. Then I will make. I think I could. Yeah, this one already has another kick. So I'm just gonna maybe pitch it up a little bit and change the decay. What's, what's the decay mean? It's just like how fast um, it sort of drops off or whatever? Yeah, like attack is like how much it fades in. And then the decay is how much it, I guess, dies off and decays. That makes sense. <laughs> I think I'll keep it. You want to move there? I'll you want to move here? turn it down so it's a little bit quieter. Maybe even change the tone of it. But you didn't want to do that, so you So I can. So there's a difference. Girls, make sure and follow the rules. <laughs> I'm telling Emmy that where she went was she moved somewhere. She didn't want to do something, and then she went back. But she went to the wrong spot. Ew. Okay. Banjo's just teaching us, sweetie. That's okay. Daddy, you make any sense. <laughs> but you were right there. Um, Banjo, just explain to her um, how that one moves and why why that has to move that way. That'll help her. Okay, sorry, buddy. Um, so I have a kick drum now, and I have a riser, so I can lead it into the snare drum. And I have a, so based off of this, I could just make up a beat. Like, Boom. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and I think I'll add like some effects like just like a tick sound, huh? So is that a triple sound? Yeah. Like the, um, just really fast. So if you're now, that's just one. Two, three. Is it coming out of that speaker? I can't. It's pretty quiet. Oh, this sound has too much low end. Maybe I could pitch it up. I think that's too quiet. That's not a very So you gotta find a different sound to start with. Hmm. Um. So this is just a bunch of free stuff you've downloaded? Just sounds? Okay, so yeah, that's... they're all free. And every single instrument plugin that I use is free. <laughs> so it's nice. And, and the program we used, um, this whole thing was only 60 bucks, so it's not like we had to spend a lot of money on it. This is a nice sound. Oh, and by the way, if any of you are interested in making your own music um, or trying what Alex is doing, this this DAW, as it's called, the program is called a Reaper. And it's sixty dollars. Yep. Until he until he starts making a ton of money, then he and then it costs like a hundred and uh, something, maybe two hundred. Anyway, it's still still a good deal even for professional. But this is the professional version. It's just once he makes his like twenty thousand dollars a year or more on his music, then he has to 
pay the yeah. the rest of the money, it, which that'd be easy if you make it that fine. much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, here's a little trick I do if I want to get rid of background noise of a recording. So at the I scroll in, um, see the I guess the big part, the impact, and then the tail of it. The tail is usually where the background noise is, oh. so I could just make it decay there. So that's, you can hear like it has kind of some reverb, and you can tell it's like in a it sounds room. like it's in a room, yeah. But then that it's like a clean sound. It sounds more like something that would be in a pop song or electronic song or something. Oops, I accidentally changed that was my turn. the other one. <laughs> yeah. Oops. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't really want that double yeah, kick. I wonder what this is. Fighting. You can come in, it's fine. <laughs> um, hmm. This is my new turn. I'll just start with that. So then I just. I just select an area. It'll usually be two measures long. Just, speaking of background noise, <laughs> can you get that out? <laughs> um, sadly, not yet. Um, <laughs> Mom. Hey, girls, you can too noisy. All right, okay. so how do we? I just double click. Then it shows the MIDI editor. Just because I um, might want to like actually show oh, it. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, so now you can see where all the stuff is mapped to. So here's the kick. So these are the same things as like looking uh -huh. at your. Oh, well, here we go. Program the riser to be held out. It's like. Oh, okay. And over here, I can just tap what tempo I want. Like, and now, if you hear it. So then you just. So maybe. Okay, there's a kick, and then. This is awesome. <laughs> Alex actually does play drums. He plays the drum set. So I'll, I'll often see him tapping his foot and doing this kind of thing. And so he's, it's like he's actually playing the real drums. Oh, yeah, it's that. You need to change it so I can add 16 notes. Oh, yeah. I think I need to change this kick. So I'm going to change that kick to be the soft one. So I'm just going to. That's. That's some nice tone. You know what it kind of reminds me of is like the two different sounds of a heartbeat, like the. Dum -dum, dum -dum. Like the do you know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of. This one sounds like kind of like heartbeat. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Just titling your song. Yep. <laughs> so I can save it. Um, I think that's a good foundation. Okay, now 
Yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know, you can never go wrong with piano, so I'm just gonna use piano. Hmm. So, I just have this plug-in library that has tons of different instruments that are all free. Um, so I'm just gonna use one. Here's a nice one that has soft. Really soft. <laughs> soft and loud. Oh, so it's touch sensitive then. Yeah, it's nice. I always hold it at the middle of the modulation wheel so then I can I can do soft and loud. So the modulation wheel does that make it quieter or louder? Oh, okay. So that's it changes the tone. So it's not just volume. It's like Velocity. Oh, it's as if you were actually playing a real piano mm -hmm. harder. Yeah. Okay. Velocity is like the speed of how fast. Speed of attack, are. kind of. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Attacking, attacking the piano. <laughs> so, you can add some effects. Just click add. And, hmm. I'll maybe add some. I think 1950s sounds good. So this sort of adds like a, makes it sound like it's on a record player. So I see him mess with this a lot. He'll, it's got different levels of, of sort of like scratchiness and dust that would be on a record and just kind of ages the sound. Hmm. I don't know why. Every time I just play random notes, it always has a tritone. <laughs> it never sounds good. Until you start writing an actual thing. Mm, that didn't sound very good. That's alright. I got what you're mm. going for. <laughs> hmm, let's see. So. I guess I'll just place down some chords. I always make the melody or whatever be twice as long as the drums. The drums loop here, and then just so that's a repeat. Two of that. different loops. Yeah, and then I just make it twice as long. That makes sense. So I guess I'll place down some chords. Add some rhythm. Hmm. Yeah, we want to change where it starts. Hmm. Not there. We go. That sounds like a nice rhythm. So could you write that, like, by playing the actual keyboard, or do you, is it easier to go with the mouse at this point? I, I think it's easier to go use the mouse, Yeah. because you don't have to record it every single time Oh. when you get it. Like, sometimes I come up with one, and then record it, Oh. but then I have to, like... One time you were showing me and that you had me just play some chords and then you went back in and digitally, like on here, you fixed it, basically. Yeah. And there's this button that, to quantize it, to make it on beat. Oh. So it's not like... It'll be like... Oh. You know? I can hear the difference there. So that... But there's also, if I click... H, I can change, oh yeah, I need to select 
my chord, and I click H, that's humanize, and then you hear it, it's a little bit off rhythm, and you oh. can change how intense it is. Oh. That was a nice boing. Yeah. I think I like that. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> we can hear Everett playing the real piano downstairs too. I don't know about that. It sounds decent. How do you hear that when you're when there's so many sounds in there when you're trying to hit the right note? How do you hear that whole chord? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> just got you. I'm so just used good at to it. it. I just, I don't know. I learned music theory just from watching videos, <laughs> and I know how to get the chord that I want because <laughs> I. Took like interval exercises. I can know how far they need to be for certain major and minor chords. That one seems too similar to. Oh yeah, you can see these notes. This oh, line yeah. shows. Where is that? Oh, and all three of them are the same. Yeah, okay. these. This one stays the same. So maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Sounds good. You never know until you listen to it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Mm. <laughs> Wait, that might. That sounds better. Yeah, that's cool. I know what I'm gonna do. Very jazzy. Like so. Repeat this here. Change it to minor and hear the difference. Now it's here. We have a little song coming. <laughs> That's cool. We have a nice mood. It sounds kind of cheesy for the first two, three chords, but then it changes up with these kind of jazzy chords. <laughs> the minor seven. Just call it a freeform jazz so this chord. One. <laughs> oh yeah, this one's the seventh chord. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, it's a seventh, bum, but the bum. it's a minor triad, but with a major seventh. Hmm. So this is a minor seventh. Oh yeah. But then wait, let's so let's hear it with the the major seventh at the top. 
but then we can change that to the minor so I think it sounds a lot better with the with the major with the major seventh on top so That chord sounds too old fashioned. This chord changing to this chord. Mm. It kind of does remind me of um, like the chord hymn. progression. That, yeah, a hymn. Yeah. Or an old, um, wow, old barbershop song almost. Yep, I knew it was going to sound bad. I'm going to just completely. I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to just change it to be completely different. In, a, in just a minute or two, we'll wrap this one up, and um, we'll continue with the next video, but just so it doesn't get too long. And we'll, it'll be exciting because from this point, it starts to really fill in and take shape, and this is just the foundation, wouldn't you say, of a song? Yeah. And make sure to check out my channel. I have tons of stuff published and in fact, not a lot of people watch it. Well, and to wrap up this video, do you want to show them um, just one of your many hundreds of finished songs? Just one that you've, you've that done recently? published? Yeah, maybe that you have or haven't published. Just one that you mm. feel like you want to share. I don't know. I guess I'll just promote my latest published one. <laughs> and what's the name of your channel where your music is? Alex Goodmanson Music. I'm not sure if this is going to show up forwards or backwards using my phone, but... So it's just Alex Goodmanson yeah. Music. So... We'll put a, a guess... link down below. Actually, I'll play this short to give you an idea of it, and then you'll just need to watch the whole thing on your own. that's playing right now is called Broken VST. <laughs> it's inspired by all my files getting corrupted. <laughs> yeah. But they got fixed, right? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> I love this one. Wow, so do I. <laughs> This is the outro of the song. Oh. <laughs> so then it worked. Yeah. Well, you did a good job then. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on this channel where he'll finish up the song, song we that we've just been working on. Yeah. Right now it's named Video, I guess. Just, <laughs> I named that just so I could save it. <laughs> and then, uh, so we'll finish up that and uh, you'll get to see what, you'll be the first people in the world to hear that song finished. And maybe we'll stick with that title, but maybe it'll change it. <laughs> well, maybe it could be like an inside joke. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then make sure and go over to, to see his channel. Um, and his channel doesn't have uh, even 10% of what he's done, but it's got some really, really cool songs, finished songs on there. All right, so we'll see you next time here and over on his channel. See you there, too. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>